What up, YouTube? It's your boy, Daryl. June 15th, 2022, new comic book day haul. With some back issues in here. There's a pretty wide one in there. Anyways, feels like a silver, bronze. Well, it's definitely a wider, <laughs> a wider uh, bag and board. And then I, yeah, yeah, guilty, 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 whatnot, retro game from whatnot, uh, three mystery packs of comics, pack Dan, I think this is Freya Rose, hit him up on whatnot, and this one, this big one right here is the big one from Nashua, New Hampshire. These are 14. 14, no, 13. 13 Office Funko Pops. Um, nine of which are from Brooklyn, New York, from another YouTuber, uh, Pops Fun to Play. Hit up his channel. I'll link it down below, and I'll post it right here to the left of my head near the crib, baby crib. <laughs> Anyways, um, yeah, so I, 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 those nine that I bought from Pops Fun to Play, uh, I saw him post a video and I hit him up right away because he did mention, uh, Sean did mention that, uh, like if there's something we like to message him on IG, message him on IG right away. Actually, I even left a comment on, on that video and he told me to message him directly. Anyways. There's like uh, four, so the other four pops, so there's 13, nine from Brooklyn, um, and four more from FYE, uh, For Your Entertainment, uh, had them shipped to Consolid Consolidator uh, Warehouse, and had them consolidate all of those pops into one box, and it's right here. So this will be, save the best for last. So big, big haul. We'll do uh, that second, kind of precariously. But let's start off with the new comic book day from June fifteenth. We've got a couple back issues. Uh, so first of my uh, day went to one of my LCSs. Picked up Iron Fist, issue four, uh, Spider Gwen, issue three. We've got the Land variant, and we've got four back issues. So, let me show you what back issues I picked up. Actually, pretty good thing because I hadn't been down to check out his back issues in probably several months at least six months I hadn't checked but uh, got some nice decent pulls got a daredevil 181 facsimile just a bag no board then we got some spectacular spider-man Peter Parker spectacular spider-man or just Spectacular Spider-Man because they dropped the Peter Parker. Got issue 100. I think this is a second appearance of Spot. Um, I've got this beautiful, beautiful black suit cover. Issue 101. Probably have that cleaned and pressed and sent off to get graded because it's a decent decent copy and Knight of the Living Ned is this zombie Ned Leeds zombie Gwen Stacy I don't know I, I, I didn't I didn't even check if there was any significance to this uh, issue but 
I figured, oh, Ned Leeds. Who's now Filipino in the current iteration <laughs> of Spider-Man. All right, so second LCS. Picked up this Dark Ages, beautiful cover, Scotty Young cover. That's a nice cover right there. Then we got, okay, those are the uh, variants. Uh, all right, let's start here. Spider-Man 2099 Exodus, issue two, featuring Loki 2099. Pretty cool. We got uh, the conclusion to Ben Riley Spider-Man issue five. So here's my pet peeve <laughs> with, with issue five. Um, every issue they released for Ben Riley Spider-Man has come with a 1 in 25 or a 1 in 10. At least a 1 in 25. Nothing. So how am I supposed to... If I wanted to sell a set of 1, one in 25 very shows, how am I supposed to do that? 1 in one to 4? Volumes 1 to 4? If I wanted to sell a ratio set? What the heck? And you give me two, a main cover and a variant cover... That's it? No ratios for this final issue? What is this? Anyways. So we got Ben Riley, main. Jurgens, Jurgens, variant. Let's go back to Spider Man Exodus here and pull out these. We've got. I forgot what that was called, but yeah, we got that one, and we got the Ron Lim Silva and Israel Silva. Loki twenty ninety nine. That's nice. Okay, and we've got Moon Knight. Issue 2, Black, White, and Blood. The covers for these are sick, man. Okay, we got What If Miles Morales Became Thor. I know this video is late. I'm shooting it the Monday after New Comic Book Day last week. So this is being recorded on June 20th. Six days, five days after new comic book day. But hey, over here. <laughs> anyways. anyways, so I've, I've, I've seen some articles about how people are blasting this. Uh, what if Miles became Thor? Yeah, man, just like, so sensitive. Oh my God. Anyways, so we've got a Davila cover. That's sick. And we got the one in 10 ratio, design ratio. Okay, go there, like that, ASM number one, second print, Fantastic Four, Reckoning War, issue 44, and last but not least, a second print of Punisher 2.
what did you pick up last week or this week? If you want to talk about this week, I mean the week of the June 15th. What did y'all pick up? That's my pickups for June 15th. Back issues and new issues. So this packed in. Info will be right here. Pack Dan, what not info will be right there. Let's get it. Uh, I think I hit one of his um, uh, big value mystery packs. It's trying to hit on the uh, X Men. Uh... Yeah, here we go. Thank you for shopping with Pack Dan. Pleasure doing business. I'll definitely give him a wicked review. I just have been postponing the review until I opened it. Thanks, Pack Dan. Info right here. Let's see package. Here we go. Spy, uh, spy. Superman lives. Comics interview. Is this a magazine? I guess it's a comic. Ten dollar value. Rack and pain. ASM 341 needs a clean featuring tarantula newsstand uh, Malibu comics sludge number six dark horse rebel number one The Superman and Savage Dragon Metropolis. I don't know if there's a number on there. I didn't see one. Maybe it's a one shot. Yeah. One shot crossover. Invincible Iron Man number 25. Salvador cover. Shipping box. Anyways, next. Adventures in the DC Universe. Only he can destroy the JLA. I don't know who that is. X-Men, number 27. It's like a Mr. Sinister story arc. First appearance of Threnody. Threnody? Someone correct me in the comments below. If this is your first time joining me, I'm Daryl. It's your boy, Undefined424. Leave a like, subscribe, and if you have time, leave a comment. X-Men number 14. What looks like to be a newsstand. Oh, an $18 book. $18 book alert. JLA versus Predator. Interesting. And we got. Ooh! An old 20 cent comic book. Champion Sports. Big Spine Roll. <laughs> or maybe that's how it's bound. <laughs> Anyways. Superman in Action Comics. The Dragon Strikes. Let's 
So what do you think of these mystery packs? I mean, they're all pretty assorted, which is cool. Superman Action Comics 708. Freebie? Was this really a freebie? I don't remember. Adventures of Superman 523. Clark Kent's gun. Who's next? I wonder. Okay, they are marked as freebies. Okay, let's set this aside. Okay, Superman in Action Comics 705. Uh, we've got Mega Man Fully Charged from Boom Studios. Another freebie. I don't know if it is a freebie. Could be a freebie. Is it a freebie? Invincible Iron Man, number six. We've got The Shadow. Nice black cover there. Good guys, number two, Defiant Comics. Then we got the good guys. What was that, number two? Number three. X-Men, number 201. Endangered, I'm guessing that says species. Superman, a nation divided. Another square bound book here, nice. Pretty good. The Shadow, number, I'm guessing, three. Zero Hour, number four. Oh, what a hit. This was the big hit I got. A giant Justice League of America. Uh, a $30 book. This was in the big hit pack that I hit. Um, first appearance of Mark Shaw as the privateer. Cool. There's a Dr. J ad in the back. <laughs> wow. That was awesome. Okay, next. Spider-Man number five. $11 book. Wow. Amazing Spider-Man, Chaos in Calgary, a Canadian issue. Lots of dings though. Superman Annual number 10. Superman Annual number 10. The Shadow number four. I wonder if I got the Shadow number one from a previous. Previous. Was it a previous one? Previous mystery box? Well, I have to look. 
JLA Prime Evil. Ten dollar book. Uncanny X Men number four eight nine. -er. Thing and Storm. All right. Oh, that's it. <laughs> I was like, what? Oh, is it? Uh, nope. That's it. That's all of them from Pac Dan. Thanks, bro. Your info will be right over here. Or I can, let's see if we get focused on there. Hit him up. He's on whatnot. And IG. All right, next. Retro NES game. Got this for, I think, well, it was five US plus shipping. And I got screwed on shipping because I didn't buy anything else. Free Rose, thank you for your support. And the game I bought, and I remember playing this at least at a fam jam. I don't know, it was like a family barbecue or whatever. Went over to a family friend's house, and all the kids obviously in the basement playing. <laughs> we ended up playing, I think, we did end up playing this. Focus. There we go. Super Spike V Ball. Retro game! Luckily, I have my Nintendo already hooked up, ready to go. I just gotta clean the second controller with plenty of rubbing alcohol. Get that thing working uh, nicely. Everything else been cleaned. And. Last but not least, let's see. So, I spent um, about 200. Yeah, I think I like, well, with the shipping costs, uh, I don't know if I'll use that consolidator again. Like, it's great if you have a lot of purchases from the states that don't ship to directly to Canada um, and you want to take advantage of like free shippings and stuff that works but you live and you learn this time I learned still alive it's a good thing oh nice Thank you, Sean. Man, you're awesome, man. You just put them in like soft protectors. Wicked. Sean, man, you rock, bro. Pops fun to play in this corner. Instagram, YouTube. Give him a follow, like, subscribe. His stuff. Wicked stuff. All right, let's start with the older ones. So I have the DIY Dwight, but I got Dwight, the original Dwight as the elf, not the reprint DIY Walmart exclusive. <laughs> oh man, can't, okay, no blooper reel on that one. We're going to keep that take. Boom. Oh man, knocked over my speaker. <laughs> Holy jeez. Oh, what's wrong with me? Damn. Next. Dwight Ashbelschnickel. Boom. Uh, 1,007. 
Oh, here. Let's go here. So what numbers were those? 905 and 907? Jim. Halpert, 870. 873. My namesake, Daryl. And it's spelled the same way. What up? <laughs> and we got... So how many is that? One, two, three, four. Kevin Malone with the chili pot. What? Oh, Sean. Thank you so much. Pop's fun to play. Oh, my God. They're going to fall. <laughs> it's going to fall. All right. Next, we have Michael Scott as Survivor Man. Okay. Put that down. So that's six. Three more from Sean. We got Meredith Palmer with the censored boob. Yep, censored boob. Casual Fridays are back. <laughs> that was a that's hilarious. Love it. Another casual, was it casual Friday? I think so, casual Friday. She's dressed as J-Lo. Kelly, Kelly Kapoor. That makes it eight. And the most uncomfortable episode of all, the dinner party episode with Levinson in the morning, baby. Right. That's that part. Well, I gotta hand it to Stackery. Stack Cry. Stackery. They did well in terms of repackaging the uh, items. So I've got an FYE exclusive. Hit me up if you want one. There's uh, slightly damage there. Yeah, crunched box kind of. Anyways. Dwight Schrute with the FYE exclusive CPR mask. <laughs> cool. Cool. Then, another one of my favorites, two of them, box looks crisp, both boxes look crisp, we've got Michael Scott with the golden ticket incentive. Where uh, Jim lost a lot of his commission. Because <laughs> Blue Cross is his biggest client. Thanks to Michael. 
And he's trying to convince Dwight to fall on the sword. And take the blame. Bang. Two. And that's it. That's all of them. How was that haul, everyone? Leave a like, leave a comment, hit subscribe. It's your boy Daryl, Undefined424. Quite a lengthy video, but hey, thanks for sticking around. If you made it to the end, it's your boy. As always, saying. Hey,